What's up guys, Doc with the Skull here. Today, we're gonna talk about medications that put you to sleep for surgeries and procedures. If you're having surgery or getting your wisdom teeth out, you're gonna wanna stay tuned until the end. Number one, Propofol. Propofol is a powerful intravenous medication used to induce a state of deep sedation, commonly employed for general anesthesia during surgical procedures. Its primary effect is to produce a rapid and profound loss of consciousness, ensuring patients are unaware and pain-free during their operation. It has a rapid onset within 30 to 60 seconds after intravenous administration, and the effects typically last for a short duration, with a rapid recovery after discontinuation. When administered, Propofol acts by enhancing the activity of a neurotransmitter called gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, in the brain. This leads to an increased inhibitory effect on neuronal activity, resulting in sedation and a loss of consciousness. While Propofol is generally considered safe and effective, it does come with some potential side effects. These may include temporary respiratory depression, characterized by a decrease in breathing rate and depth, as well as a transient drop in blood pressure. Patients may also experience mild pain or discomfort upon injection. Allergic reactions can occur in some individuals, and there is a possibility of cardiovascular and respiratory depression, which requires close monitoring during its use. Rarely, a condition known as propofol infusion syndrome may develop, which involves metabolic disturbances and can be life-threatening. Propofol is typically administered intravenously as a milky white liquid. It's commonly used in various surgical procedures, including, but not limited to, surgeries, wisdom teeth removal, and scopes. Number 2. Midazolam Midazolam is a medication that belongs to the benzodiazepine class and is commonly used for its sedative and amnesic properties. It's frequently employed for preoperative and procedural sedation to induce relaxation and reduce anxiety in patients. It has a rapid onset within a few minutes after intravenous or oral administration, and the effects can last for a few hours, depending on the dose and individual factors. When administered, midazolam acts by enhancing the inhibitory actions of a neurotransmitter called gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, in the brain. This results in a calming effect, promoting sedation and producing amnesia, which can help patients forget the events surrounding a medical procedure. While midazolam is generally well-tolerated, it may cause some side effects. These can include drowsiness, confusion, dizziness, and temporary memory loss. Patients may also experience a sense of grogginess or disorientation following the administration of midazolam. It's important to be cautious with the use of midazolam as it can potentially cause respiratory depression, particularly when used in high doses or in combination with other sedatives or opioids. Midazolam is typically administered intravenously or orally and usually comes in a clear liquid. It's commonly used in various surgical procedures, including, but not limited to, surgeries, wisdom teeth removal, and scopes. Number 3. Dexmedetomidine Dexmedetomidine is a medication commonly used in intensive care settings to provide sedation, analgesia, and anxiolysis for patients. It's administered through intravenous infusion. Its sedative effects begin within 5 to 10 minutes after intravenous administration, and the duration of action varies but can last for several hours. Dexmedetomidine has a short half-life, allowing for a relatively quick recovery after discontinuation. When dexmedetomidine is given, it acts by stimulating specific receptors in the brain known as alpha-2 adrenergic receptors. This stimulation leads to a reduction in the release of norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter involved in the body's stress response. As a result, dexmedetomidine produces sedative and anxiolytic effects, promoting a state of calmness and relaxation. Along with its therapeutic effects, Dexmedetomidine can cause certain side effects. These can include bradycardia or slow heart rate, dry mouth, hypotension, or low blood pressure. Additionally, upon discontinuation of a dexmedetomidine infusion, there is a potential for rebound hypertension, where blood pressure may temporarily increase. This is managed by gradually tapering the dose. One notable advantage of dexmedetomidine is its unique property of providing sedation while preserving the patient's ability to cooperate and follow commands. This makes it particularly useful in situations where a patient may need to be awakened easily for assessments or procedures. Dexmedetomidine is commonly used in various procedures and settings, such as during mechanical ventilation in the intensive care unit or ICU, procedural sedation in the operating room, and sedation for patients undergoing diagnostic imaging studies. Number 4. Nitrous Oxide Nitrous Oxide 
commonly known as laughing gas, is a colorless and odorless gas that's administered through inhalation. It's often used as a sedative and analgesic agent in various medical and especially in dental procedures. Nitrous oxide produces a sense of relaxation, euphoria, and can alleviate pain and anxiety during these procedures. The onset of nitrous oxide's effect is rapid, typically occurring within a few minutes after inhalation. It's quickly absorbed through the lungs and enters the bloodstream, reaching the brain and producing its sedative and analgesic effects. The duration of nitrous oxide effects is relatively short, with the effects wearing off quickly after the gas is discontinued. This allows for a rapid recovery and minimal lingering effects. While nitrous oxide is generally considered safe, there are some potential side effects to be aware of. These include dizziness, nausea, and headaches. Prolonged or excessive use of nitrous oxide may lead to fatigue or vitamin B12 deficiency, as the gas can interfere with the body's absorption of this vitamin. It's important to ensure proper administration of nitrous oxide with sufficient oxygen, as inadequate oxygenation can pose risks. Additionally, prolonged or excessive use can result in respiratory depression, hypoxia or low oxygen levels, or potentially harmful interactions with certain medications. Therefore, it's crucial to follow appropriate dosage guidelines and monitor the patient's response during the procedure. If you're enjoying this video so far, click that thumbs up and subscribe, and your support helps us to keep creating informative and entertaining videos like this. Number 5. Atomidate Atomidate is an intravenous anesthetic agent that's commonly used to induce rapid sedation and anesthesia for short medical procedures or intubation. It's a clear, colorless liquid that's administered by healthcare professionals. The onset of Atomidate's effects is rapid, typically occurring within seconds after injection. It acts by enhancing the activity of the neurotransmitter GABA or gamma-aminobutyric acid in the brain, which leads to sedation and loss of consciousness. The duration of Atomidate's effects is relatively short, lasting only a few minutes. This allows for precise control of sedation levels during procedures and a rapid recovery once the drug is discontinued. While Atomidate is generally well tolerated, there are some potential side effects to be aware of. These can include transient adrenal suppression, which can affect hormone levels in the body, as well as nausea and vomiting. Additionally, pain upon injection and myoclonus or muscle twitching are possible side effects. It's important to note that prolonged use of Atomidate has been associated with rare instances of adrenal insufficiency, a condition where the adrenal glands do not produce enough hormones. However, this risk is typically limited to patients who receive Atomidate for an extended period, such as in critical care settings. Number 6. Fentanyl Fentanyl is a potent opioid analgesic that's commonly used for anesthesia and acute pain management, and commonly during wisdom teeth extractions. It's a synthetic drug that's available in various forms, including transdermal patches, lozenges, and injectable solutions. The effects of fentanyl are profound pain relief and sedation. It works by binding to opioid receptors in the brain and spinal cord, modulating pain perception and inducing sedation. Fentanyl's onset of action is rapid when administered intravenously, usually within minutes, providing quick pain relief. The duration of fentanyl's effects can vary depending on the route of administration and the specific formulation used. Intravenous fentanyl typically has a shorter duration of action, lasting for about 30 to 60 minutes. However, transdermal patches can provide continuous pain relief over a longer period, typically up to 72 hours. While fentanyl is highly effective in managing pain, it also carries some potential side effects. Respiratory depression, characterized by decreased breathing rate and depth, is one of the most significant risks associated with fentanyl use. Other side effects can include nausea, constipation, and various opioid-related side effects, such as drowsiness and confusion. It's essential to use fentanyl with caution, especially when using higher doses or combining it with other medications that can cause respiratory depression. Careful monitoring of respiratory function and vital signs is crucial during fentanyl administration to ensure patient safety. It's also important to note that fentanyl has a high potential for addiction and misuse. Patients should be closely monitored for signs of opioid dependence and provided with appropriate pain management strategies to minimize the risk of addiction or overdose. Number 7. Ketamine Ketamine is a versatile anesthetic agent that provides dissociative anesthesia, analgesia, and sedation. It's commonly used in a variety of medical and surgical procedures, including minor surgeries, diagnostic procedures, wisdom teeth extractions, and emergency interventions. Ketamine can be administered intravenously, intramuscularly, or as a nasal spray. 
it's typically a clear liquid with a distinct odor. The onset of action varies depending on the route of administration, with intravenous administration providing rapid effects within seconds to minutes. The duration of ketamine's effects also depends on the dose and route of administration. When used for procedural sedation, the effects typically last for around 10 to 15 minutes. However, when administered as a continuous infusion or for more extended procedures, the duration of action can be prolonged up to several hours. One of the notable effects of ketamine is dissociation, where patients may feel detached from their surroundings and experience a sense of floating or dreamlike state. This dissociative effect, along with its analgesic properties, makes ketamine particularly useful in settings where pain control and minimal patient movement are desired. While ketamine is generally well tolerated, it can have side effects. These can include hallucinations, increased heart rate, elevated blood pressure, and vivid dreams. These side effects are typically transient and can be managed with appropriate monitoring and supportive care. There is a potential for emergence reactions with ketamine, especially in higher doses or in susceptible individuals. These reactions can manifest as agitation, confusion, hallucinations, or delirium during the recovery phase. Adequate preoperative preparation, monitoring, and supportive care can help mitigate these risks. Number 8. Isoflurane Isoflurane is a volatile liquid inhalation anesthetic that's commonly used to induce and maintain general anesthesia during surgical procedures. It belongs to the class of halogenated ethers and is administered by inhalation through a specialized anesthesia machine. Isoflurane has a pungent, sweet odor and is colorless. It's typically delivered in a vaporized form mixed with oxygen and other gases through a breathing mask or endotracheal tube. The onset of action of isoflurane is rapid, with the desired depth of anesthesia achieved within a few minutes after inhalation. The duration of its effects can be adjusted by regulating the concentration of the anesthetic agent delivered. During the administration of isoflurane, it produces general anesthesia, resulting in sedation, loss of consciousness, and analgesia. Its mechanism of action involves enhancing the inhibitory actions of gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, a neurotransmitter that promotes sedation and reduces neuronal activity in the central nervous system. While isoflurane is generally well tolerated, it can have side effects. These can include respiratory depression, which can lead to reduced breathing and oxygenation. Hypotension or low blood pressure may also occur as isoflurane can cause relaxation of blood vessels. Some patients may experience post-operative nausea and vomiting as a side effect. There are certain risks associated with the use of isoflurane. It can cause cardiovascular depression, leading to changes in heart rate and blood pressure. In rare cases, allergic reactions to the anesthetic can occur. Additionally, susceptible individuals may develop a rare condition called malignant hyperthermia, which is a potentially life-threatening reaction to certain anesthesia agents. Number 9. Remifentanil Remifentanil is a potent, short-acting opioid analgesic that's commonly used during surgical procedures and in intensive care settings to provide rapid pain relief and sedation. It belongs to the class of synthetic opioids. Remifentanil is typically administered intravenously through a dedicated infusion pump. It's a clear, colorless solution that's prepared and handled by healthcare professionals according to specific guidelines. The onset of action of remifentanil is rapid, with its effects being felt within minutes of administration. It has a short duration of action, which allows for precise control and rapid adjustment of the level of sedation and analgesia. When remifentanil binds to opioid receptors in the central nervous system, it modulates pain perception and induces sedation. By acting on these receptors, it produces potent analgesic effects, reducing pain sensations and promoting a state of calm and relaxation. As with other opioids, remifentanil carries the risk of respiratory depression, where breathing may become shallow or slowed. Other potential side effects include bradycardia, a slow heart rate, and other opioid-related adverse effects, such as nausea, constipation, and sedation. It's important to note that the risks associated with remifentanil, including respiratory depression, opioid addiction, and overdose, are possible but can be minimized when used appropriately under the guidance of healthcare professionals. The dosing and administration of remifentanil are carefully monitored to maintain a balance between achieving adequate pain control and avoiding potential adverse effects. Number 10. Sevoflurane Sevoflurane is a volatile inhalation anesthetic commonly used to induce and maintain general anesthesia during surgical procedures. It belongs to the class of halogenated ethers. Sevoflurane is a clear, colorless liquid at room temperature. 
It's vaporized and administered via inhalation using a specialized anesthesia delivery system. The vaporized sevoflurane is inhaled by the patient, allowing it to be absorbed into the bloodstream and produce the desired anesthetic effects. Once inhaled, sevoflurane rapidly enters the brain and central nervous system, where it enhances the inhibitory actions of gamma-aminobutyric acid, or GABA, an important neurotransmitter. This leads to sedation, loss of consciousness, and a state of general anesthesia. Sevoflurane provides a balanced anesthesia, offering both analgesic or pain-relieving and amnesic or memory loss properties. It allows for smooth and rapid induction of anesthesia and precise control over the depth of anesthesia during the procedure. The onset of action of sevoflurane is rapid, typically within minutes after inhalation, allowing for quick adjustment of the anesthetic depth. The duration of action is also relatively short, facilitating a smooth recovery from anesthesia after the procedure. As with other inhalation anesthetics, sevoflurane carries the risk of respiratory depression, where breathing may become shallow or slowed. Other potential side effects include hypotension or low blood pressure and postoperative nausea and vomiting. It's important to note that the administration of sevoflurane requires careful monitoring of vital signs, including oxygen saturation, heart rate, blood pressure, and in tidal carbon dioxide levels. Anesthesia providers continually adjust the concentration of sevoflurane to maintain an appropriate level of anesthesia and ensure patient safety and comfort. So there you have it. The field of anesthesia offers a wide range of medications to achieve safe and effective sedation during medical and dental procedures. Each medication has its unique characteristics, effects, and risks. From the rapid onset of propofol to the dissociative anesthesia of ketamine, these medications play a crucial role in ensuring patient comfort and optimal surgical outcomes. Understanding the mechanisms of action and potential side effects of these medications allows healthcare professionals to tailor their use to individual patient needs. Whether it's the profound pain relief provided by fentanyl or the balanced anesthesia of sevoflurane, anesthesia medications have revolutionized the medical field, allowing for complex surgeries to be performed while ensuring patient safety and comfort. Thanks for watching the top 10 medications used for surgery and wisdom teeth removal. Let me know what your thoughts are below. Don't forget to check out our other videos on the channel, and I've also posted some links for more information in the description. As always, if you're enjoying our channel and videos, click subscribe, like, and comment on any other topics you'd like us to cover. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.